Okay, sometimes when I'm working with clients, they may be working other CAD programs like Inventor or Rhino or something like that. And then they want to send me a model that, that they want me to animate or render or just work with. And if I'm going to get that 3D model from a client, I want them to give me the file in OBG. And from Blender 4, you can just take a file and drag it into the scene like this. You can change stuff here, with, but we can start up by not doing that. So let's just press import wavefront OB. Okay, so we can see that it's ended up in the scene, but we cannot see it. So let's press a dot on the numpad. So let's zoom in on the part. So let's press N. And we can see that it's really wide. It's really big. So the scale got wrong. So we need to change this. We can just press dot one. So now it's one meter wide and then might be okay. So first off, this is just one part. So uh, I want to separate these pieces in some way. So let's just select everything and then we can press P and choose by material. And we can leave the edit mode and now we're in object mode and we can see that it's now three different pieces. So this is great. And then they maybe tell me that I need to be able to adjust this part uh, as I like. And right now the topology is not great because I want quads and this is some kind of mix between trees and quads. So there is actually a, a tool for this that rarely works, but it's there. So if you select all, go to face and then you can choose trees to quads. This time it did nothing, but you can um, do different choices here and stuff like this. But from this time it didn't work at all. At the times it worked kind of, but this is an easy shape uh, and I just want to rebuild it from scratch. But first off, we can shake it. If I press alt and let's left click here, I can see that something's really off and um, this is because there are probably several vertices in the same place. So let's select all and then press M to merge by distance. And now we deleted 144 vertices from this thing. So let's try this again. Didn't work, but we can press control and then left click so we get all of the vertices in this ring. Then we can press shift D to duplicate this ring, we can just right click so we get it in the exact the spot where we want it and then tab. Let's select a new ring. Okay, let's select. I failed to make it as a new part. Okay, here it is. So let's just press P and then separate by selection. Great, now we have a new part. Okay, so let's select all the vertices and then just press E and Y and drag it out, but I want it to be exactly this length. So we can just press B and say from here to here and it will snap. Great. And now we want to delete this part, the old part, so we can just select it and delete it. And now we have the new part and we can just right click, shade out the smooth, like that. And maybe they ask me just to put a bevel on it, something like that, great. And now I also see that the rotation, the scale is wrong. So let's press Control A and choose Apply Rotation and Scale. And now it looks better. Great. The next step is that they ask me to uh, make these two uh, rings separated and rotate um, this in one direction and this in another direction. Right now it might be a problem. So if you just press Numpad Slash like that, great. Uh, and press tab, you can see that, that this is not uh, really su suitable to work on right now. So we can start out by um, trying to separate this into two pieces. So we can look upon it from the top and then I activate X-ray mode like that. Great. And I want to select faces. So I press number three when I'm in edit mode. And then number three is on the, not on the numpad. And let's just drag like this and I don't want to get that inner strange thing so something like this should do it and then we press P 
separate by selection. Great. And if we now exit uh, x ray mode, and already now I can actually rotate them um, in different location. But what I realize now is that point of origin is over here and uh, I don't want that. So we need to fix this. So let's just uh, object set origin uh, to center of mass. And then we can just set, uh, let's do the same for this one. Great. And now we can rotate this like that, how we want. And we can rotate that how we want. Great. But we can undo that. And we need to apply uh, rotation and scale for these tools also. Great. But now maybe the client asked me that I need to be able to separate them and make a cool animation. So, okay, let's press G and X and drag them away. This looks pretty okay, but this does not look okay. So we need to fix this somehow. So I think the smartest way to do this is just to rebuild it from scratch because I don't understand what's happening here and the customer have seen it and they say, let's, yeah, this looks okay. Just make this flat. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, so let's select it. And we can see that it's not a great topo topology to work with. But uh, if we press Alt, left click, let's select the vertices, press it one. We actually get a good selection here when we Alt, left click. So let's take this, press Shift D, duplicate, then P, and uh, separate selection. So now we have a new part here, so let's just rebuild this so we can uh, enter edit mode select all and want to extrude so let's extrude s and we can go up here and again we can use this b function that's really good and then oh i did go too far and now i'm just going to eyeball this because it's not that important for this example that it's going to be correct so e and s EX, ES, EX, and then we can type ESB. So let's go from here, and I want to have the same ring, kind of. You can see the, yeah, uh, we, we can just go a little longer. And then when we have all of them, we can just shift alt select all of them and then we can right click and choose loop tools but apparently i have not that installed but uh, i can really recommend to have loop tools installed so the first thing you need to do is go to edit prefaces and go to system and you need to activate allow online access to get the loop tools to install and then you go to add-ons and you search for loop tools Maybe it's down if you need to drop down this menu or you maybe just have it here. Great, because when that's installed, you can just right click and choose loop tools and bridge like that. Great. Right now it's a bit jagged, but we can just first we can delete the old one. Uh, no, we, we can hide the old one first. We need to fix this. So let's um, uh, we can shade out to smooth that one. And I want to have it even smoother, so let's just add a uh, subdivision. And now it's too smooth, so we just need to add some sharpness to this one. So we can select this one, this one, and note how I'm selecting every even one, because otherwise they will make sharp lines uh, in between also. So select not the edges next to one another. So shift E and press one. Great. Uh, and now we can select the ones that we didn't select before. Great, shift E one. Great. Okay, so uh, now I have this part and the client just asked me to make more sprockets. And so now we can actually delete this part, but first we need to get one of those sprockets. So we get those to the maybe not the sprocket is the word we can call it teeth okay so one of these we, we need them so uh, let's just select one of them 
and let's press P, separate selection. Great. So let's now a new part so we can delete that one. X, delete. Great. So let's name uh, stuff we can make in. So this is some kind of handle, and this is some kind of thing, and this is the new ring. And this is the old ring. Perfect names. Okay, anyhow, uh, so we can, whoops, select, select this ring, the new ring, and this sprocket thing. I just realized that I needed the back of the uh, thief also, but you understand. So let's select it and just extrude it over here. Okay, so the next next trick is that i want to make a lot of thief around here and the client just said that he wanted 40 of them great so first off we want to add um, 3d cursor here so let's select it and shift s cursor to select it great great and now we want to add an shift a i want to add an empty let's put it here and let's check the scales of everything. It looks great. So now we need to um, rotate 40 of them around here. And uh, to do this, we need to add a modifier. And it should be a array modifier. And I want 40. And we can uncheck that. And we want it to be an object offset. So let's select the empty. And then uh, we want to have the degrees divided by the rotation of a whole circle. So that would be the rotate. I want the rotation to be around X, this X axis. So we want to write 360 divided by 40 like that. Great. So if we now look upon everything, we have rebuilt this and this we could use right away. And now we can animate it and look upon it uh, for the customer. And I can also recommend to always be sure that you uh, that you always apply the rotation and scale, uh, and also be aware of the point of origin. So uh, I want to it back here. So let's just let's go object set origin to 3D cursor, and I think we can actually just I want this to always be in this spot. So we can just select this one afterward and press Control P and set this to be its parent. So if we now move this part this will follow great so and we can also check here that if we uh, select all the vertices and we try the other one the face uh, the trees to quad on this one it actually does something let's check that again uh, trees to quads you can see here it does something it maybe help you a little bit but yeah so uh, otherwise this is some tips and tricks how you can work uh, when you import an objects from inventor or other CAD programs and if you like stuff like this please like and subscribe thanks for watching bye